and welcome to another edition of Let's Play, a new series. I'm your host, Nick Legato. How many of you remember point-and-click adventures? Well, I sure do. And damn it, Mist was the one that it seems to delude everyone. No, there was another series of uh, point-and-click adventures, and if you don't remember them, this is a refresher for you. This is game is known as a Lighthouse. Lighthouse came out in about 1996, so it was, the graphics were a little dated for a 96 computer game, but the game itself has a following, and people still play it today. Um, so we're going to go on Sierra's Adventure of Lighthouse. Start a new game here. There's an opening video, but I do like to skip it, because it gives away some interesting things about this story, so... Well, well, we'll, we'll let it run until they show that freaking kid. Uh -huh. <coughs> Lighthouse. Oh, it's a little baby. Uh oh. <laughs> Something's wrong there. Well, so we know we're in Oregon. Somewhere in Oregon. You know how many how many video games take place in Oregon? <laughs> Something is askew. Pull out this chair here. Let's take a look here. It's a journal. I would assume it's ours. January 10th, 1995. I've decided to get a house on the coast for the summer. Being away from the city will give me a chance to clear my head and get some work done on my story. I have been watching the papers and I am going to go look at a place next week. I hope it will be the right one. I'm anxious to settle in and have some time to myself. Remember, this is a game that requires reading. For some of you who are too young to remember reading in a video game. January 16th. The house was, perf the house was perfect, and the rent was reasonable. I can move in at the beginning of April. There is a beautiful view of the coast, and it is five miles to the nearest town. There are some other houses in the area, but the coast is rugged, and there is a sense of peaceful seclusion. April 14th. It has been a hectic three months, but I am here at last. I up unloaded the trailer yesterday, and I am busy with the details of moving in. I took a walk by the sea this morning. The shore is mostly rocky, but there are some stretches of sand and pebble beach. I found a trail to the water and enjoyed wading in the surf. This is a truly beautiful place. There is even an old lighthouse a mile or two down the coast. May 3rd. I'm settling into a routine and I'm beginning to write. I have met a few locals in town. People seem friendly, but tend to keep to themselves. The weather has been cold and wet, but I'm sure it will improve by summer. Last night I was surprised to see that the light was operating at the lighthouse. It is an old place, and I thought it was out of service. Luckily, it is far enough away not to be a distraction. May 17th. I have met the owner of the lighthouse. I was walking on the beach, and he came across a, and came across a man and his baby daughter. His name was Jeremiah Crick, and he was some kind of professor. He has purchased and renovated the lighthouse. He seems to be fascinated, a fascinating character. He has repaired the old light and sometimes runs it on stormy nights. May 30th. My writing is progressing well, and the weather is warmer. I go to town twice a week for supplies and saw Dr. Kirk last Friday. He was with his daughter again. He calls her Mandy, but her real name's Amanda. He seemed glad to see me, but was in a hurry. He could only talk for a few minutes, but I held Mandy while he loaded his truck with bales of wire. In this isolated place, it's good to find someone to talk to. I will, Jen, June 5th. I woke last night to lightning and thunder. It was late, but the weather was awe-inspiring. I sat up for more than an hour and watched the storm. I think I saw St. Elmo's fire at the lighthouse. The light was on when I awoke, but went off at the, pe after, went off at the peak of the storm. I saw a bluish halo around the top of the lighthouse. It lasted a few minutes and kind of faded away. June 13th. On my errands in town this morning, I bumped into Dr. Kirk at the post office. Mandy was fussy, so we went to the diner to get some milk. We had a good talk over coffee. Then went, then when I, though, when I asked about his work, he gathered up the baby and left in such a hurry he forgot to leave money for his tab. I was happy to pay it, however, as Dr. Kirk and his daughter provided the most pleasant company I've had in weeks. June 21st. I'm listless and uninspired. I have taken a long walk exploring tidal pools and coves nearby. It's hard to believe I'm uninspired in such a beautiful place. For the last week, I have been unable to write, but I know the story will come. God damn it. Luckily, it's not like Mist with infinite hours of reading. 
Hello, dear. Oh, it's, God. It's your mother. Go away. It um, seems like we never hear from you there's, anymore. There's a reason for that, Mom. Well, don't worry. Your father and I are fine. Damn it. And, and honey, when you get tired of living in that damp, chilly house, your room at home is still waiting for you. We should board it up and light and, it on fire. Uh, uh, make sure you're taking your vitamins and using that nice umbrella, Aunt Selma. I am drinking a lot. Christmas. Fuck Aunt Selma. Okay? I love you. <laughs> Bye. Hello. Remember me? Your editor? You're not answering your calls, are you? I'm getting tired of talking to a machine. I thought you'd be home writing, but apparently you're not. You know, I can't send out that advance until I actually see some of that story you're working on. Call me back. Oh, that guy burns in hell. This is Jeremiah Cook. Oh, I know you. Something has happened. Really? Something horrible. Cool. I have to leave immediately. I don't know how long I'll be gone. A Amanda is here at the lighthouse. I don't want to leave her alone. Mm. Please come right away. If you don't hear from me soon, it will mean that I have failed. And then... Oh God, I just can't think of that now. There is no time. I have no choice. Please. You're the only one who can help me. Mm, I don't know if come I want to. Now. No. No. Yeah. God damn, what could be going on over there? It looks pretty peaceful to me. Just looks like another stormy day where the lighthouse seems to be running perfectly fine. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening. Galileo, 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 Figaro, Magnifico. Okay. Wow. So it looks like something is askew at the lighthouse. Gotta find my car keys. Where, it's right where I always keep them in my drawer under a bunch of random crap like a toolbox. What is this? A picture of crap? Who would have thunk it? All right, purse, umbrella, you know, because it is raining, you know. Let's open that door. Let's get the hell out of here and find out what Kirky wants, what Captain Kirk wants, or Crick, Crick, Jeremiah Crick, Jeremiah Crick, what? My water. So yeah, for those of you who have not played point and click adventures, they are lots of fun. I definitely recommend Lighthouse and I recommend Mist. I hear there's even better ones out nowadays. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you Lighthouse. Let's play Lighthouse. This is going to be an interesting game, especially because so many people have never seen this game before. So many people have never experienced this game before. And really, if you liked Mist, you'll love this game because it's it's the same kind of feeling that Mist gave, but it's got a cat. It actually has more characters. It actually has characters that you can interact with. There's a bit. It, I think the world is more diverse. You know, I think there's even a hint of scare or horror to this game that you don't find in other games, as you can tell by the intense music. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> uh oh, the lighthouse is out and down for the count. Well, here we are. Looks like the rain has subsided, though. His mail is still here. What a loser. He doesn't pick up his own mail. You communist heathen! Oh, uh, what's this? Well, there's a key there. Since the light's not on, I figured that would be an interesting place to look. Doesn't look like a house key to me at all, though. Oh, look at... Oh, oh, wait, what's this? Aha! Another key. That looks like a house key. But I saw the power go out. So let's make sure we can still use the power here. That looks like that works. Now again, I could have gone to the house with the lights off, but why would you want to do that? Ooh! Crowbar! Alright, let's see here. The power! The power! And the power! Fail! Come on, I guess that breaker doesn't work. Mm. Curious. And this guy, I am curious why that breaker isn't working right now, but whatever. Uh, can't get in without the house key. Open says me. Opening, 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 opening. Walking inside. This place is kind of cozy. It's nice, actually. Kind of high class, ain't it? Let's see here. Door with 
key code on it. Well, obviously we know we should not know any key codes yet. Toy, cool. Oh, stupid baby. I can't wait for you to grow up and have to pay taxes like everyone else. Oh, taxes, I know. Oh, no, 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 don't cry. Uncle Sam's not that scary. No, no, oh, don't cry. Uncle Sam's coming. Oh, God, we gotta shut this baby up. Or I kill it. Hey, we can't go wrong with some of that. Let's go see if we can shut up baby baby Miss Finkelstein here. So I can do some soul searching of some sort. Here, here, shut up. Quiet. Yes. Be fat. Be merry. Load faster. Thank you. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> yes, you I know you want food. Sustenance. That way you'll leave me the hell alone. Ugh. Are we done now? Thank you. Okay. So next time on... Well, we still got a little bit of time. We still got about three minutes or so. So let's keep looking around this house here. What's in here? Ooh. Cool. Beans. Looks like a compass. Compasses are always good. And if you're wondering, everything is saved here in my purse. So I do have all my gear. Frederick Edwin Church. Hmm? Interesting. I guess, if you're interested in that kind of... Ooh, baby. I love you. I want your digital lips on my face. Okay, enough of that. Can't look at that picture, I guess. Can we look at that? Nope. North American Standard Oil Tank Co. Mm okay. Uh-oh. The baby's crying again. Next time on Let's Play Lighthouse, the Dark... Lighthouse. Getting this baby to shut up might be as easy as a crowbar in its face. Let's see if I do that. We'll find we'll see you then. Have a good one.